Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices and the big tech stocks in the United States. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, December 18th, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our signal service, our live trades, and our full technical analysis. So we'll start out by looking at the S&P 500. And at this point, we are trading at the all-time highs. So there has been a lot of news um, that there is going to be some kind of stimulus bill um, this week that's going to be accepted by both parties, the Democrats and the Republicans. And it will most likely be, um, well, negotiation basically will, will reach their goals in the weekend. So tomorrow will be a very interesting day. Um, today was not a very interesting day if you well if you were trading bitcoin then it was really interesting apart from that everything was just really really slow and that's probably because the market is waiting for an answer what it's going to be in the stimulus bill when is it when is it going to be approved and so on and so on and uh, it will not be a four trillion dollar stimulus bill it more likely be one trillion dollar stimulus bill or 900 billion uh, dollars stimulus bill however there is going to be a stimulus bill one way or another and of course that will have an effect on these stocks and also these indices i do believe that we are going to see a minor pullback or a major pullback before sometimes tomorrow because usually you have a pullback in order to basically maximize your gains uh, so at the end of Friday's session, there's going to be a lot of buying because people will know that in the weekend there is going to be um, an agreement on the stimulus bill and the market will absolutely go bananas on Monday's uh, Monday session when it basically opens. So we're looking at the S&P 500 and as I can see, as you can see, sorry, it is trading at the all-time highs. We are at 3,721. And we have a little bit of a pullback. So we are up uh, half a percent. And we have basically been stuck here all day long. I actually had to check my internet to check whether or not I had internet connection because it wasn't moving. So I thought my computer froze or something like that. But this has been where we have been all day long. Nothing has really happened in this market. So at this point, I'm looking for a minor pullback probably towards these previous sides. So from here, this is roughly half a percent or 1%, give or take. And that will basically be the trigger for a buy to the upside. Because this market is going to rally. If it's something that this market loves, it's basically liquidity. And this will just be adding liquidity to the market. So technical indicators are looking fairly bullish at this point. Stochastic, the CCI are bullish. The RSI is fairly flat, and so is the MACD. So a little bit of pullback, that's the sign that you could basically enter this market for a buy. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So we are basically touching the very uh, top of the this, um, this resistance line. And... Uh, at this point, we have not crossed this resistance line, but we will most likely cross it tomorrow. So again, there's going to be a news that there is going to be an agreement uh, on the stimulus bill. And the question is whether or not we'll have a bit of a pullback before we go significantly higher. So it is expected for the Dow Jones to first of all go to 31,000, probably 30,500 and then 31,000. But with added stimulus, and um, that will basically uh, make this market go significantly higher. So we are at uh, 59 in the RSI. It is fairly low at this point. So there's a lot of room to the upside. Uh, technical indicators are looking very bullish or are turning bullish. So a minor pullback is basically a buying opportunity. If we could get all the way down to the 20 exponential, which is highly unlikely at this point, um, then, then that is basically the best thing. But I do believe that we're going to go fairly roughly half a percent down in Friday's session at some point, and then we're just going to rally at the end 
of Friday session or when the US session basically starts. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ is trading at this point at 12,708. It is at the all time highs. It is overbought. So same thing here. I do believe that we're going to see a minor pullback probably to the previous highs here. And then we are going to rally all the way to 13,000. And any pullback in the NASDAQ at this point is to be seen as a major buying opportunity. However, be aware, this is overbought. It can get really noisy if, uh, if uh, enough buyers start buying this. It is probably more likely that we're going to see a bigger rally in the Dow Jones or the S&P 500 because the, Dow, the Nasdaq is so overbought. Technical indicators are looking fairly bullish at this point, but if we don't have quite a big pullback in the Nasdaq to get this down, then, then uh, the question is whether or not uh, we will see uh, 13,000 um, next week. Probably will happen, but pullbacks are basically a buying opportunity. Just keep that in mind. So let's look at uh, Nef uh, the Netflix stock. We have broken these previous highs here, and now we're trading at 530. So at this point, we are most likely going to head uh, towards these all-time highs. It has been been expected for some time, but we're having quite a lot of pullback at this point. So question is, if we break below these previous highs again, then we're heading back towards the 50 moving average. So we may see a pullback tomorrow and then rally at the end of the session. If you look at the technical indicators for Netflix stock, they are fairly bullish at this point. We are on the edge of being overbought. Uh, the Stochastic is bullish, the MACD is bullish. We are basically at the top of the Bollinger Band, so a pullback could be expected at this point. So just keep that in mind. But it, the closer that we get to the 20 exponential or the 50, it is basically um, a buying opportunity. An opportunity. So let's look at Microsoft. We have pulled back quite a bit. We are down 0.42%, trading at 218. But at this point, I do believe we are just going to, this is just a minor pullback before we go to these all-time highs. Technical indicators are have not turned around. For example, the MACD is bullish, the Stochastic is bullish, the CCI is bullish. We basically were overshot in the uh, in the Bollinger Band, and therefore we are basically pulling back a little bit, but this is probably just a minor pullback, and we are going to continue from here towards these very highs, and that's roughly 6.6%. So the RSI is quite low at this point, so there's a lot of room to the upside. So if this gets lower, even to the 50 moving average, there's a major buying opportunity. So let's look at Apple. Apple has continued this rally, but we're pulling back a little bit at this point. We are significantly overbought. So I did expect Apple to fall towards the 20 exponential today. I did expect the, the Nasdaq also to fall, but that did not happen. So we rallied, and that only means that we are even more uh, exposed here to the downside. So this just can't continue on forever. It will, we'll just see a candlestick similar to this one instead of seeing several small candlesticks, uh, red candlesticks here. So a pullback towards the 20 exponential that is ex expected, a roughly $5 decrease or 3.4%. So that is also a buying opportunity. The closer that we can get to the 20 exponential, and it's basically where you should enter this market. No reason to sell this, just wait until it falls. So Amazon has pulled back a little bit today. Well, how can you say? Uh, 50 will definitely be supportive. So that is just underneath here, roughly 1.2%. So we may see uh, Amazon fall in the beginning of tomorrow's uh, session and then rally afterwards um, on basically Monday session or the end of Friday session. So technical indicators for Amazon are looking fairly bullish. Stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish, no, no, MACD is bullish, 
CGI is also bullish, but we're hitting basically the top of the Bollinger Band. So we were quite overshot yesterday, and therefore we're having this minor pullback. So we could go towards the, the, the 100 moving average or the 50 moving average, and that's roughly 1.2% down. So keep that in mind. A pullback is basically a buying opportunity. It is this highest that we are targeting, and this is roughly 10 point or 11% at this, at this stage. So Tesla has rallied yet again. As you can see, the 20 is a major, major support in this market. So we have not crossed these very highs, but it will most likely happen. We are at 60 at our side. There's a lot of room to the upside. The technical indicators are turning around. So it is only a matter of time before we break these previous highs. And we're heading basically to 700. So we are going towards this area here. And that's roughly 8.25%. And there we'll probably have a pullback towards the 20 and then we'll just continue on. So buy it here. Yes, it is possible. Pullbacks towards the 20 exponential, definitely buying opportunities. So Facebook, this was very unexpected. I did not expect Facebook to fall this drastically on this um, on Thursday's session. But we did. We are down roughly half a percent and uh, we're trading just at the 20 exponential moving average. At this point, um, we I am expecting a major turnaround in Netflix and in Facebook stock. So um, I'm just going to buy it. The closer that we get to the 100 moving average, uh, the more I will basically buy off of this stock. Technical indicators are turning around, some of them, not all. So, for example, the MACD is still bearish, the RSI is bearish, and the CCI is becoming bullish, and the, the stochastic is bullish. So, we will most likely go up towards the, the top of the Bollinger Band, and that's roughly at you know, $288. So, these previous highs here is our first target. Then we'll have a pullback, and then head towards these all-time highs. So... This is definitely a buying opportunity at this point. The 100 moving average is the floor in this market. There's no reason basically to, to expect this market to crash all the way down to the 150 moving average. That will be very strange at this point. So let's look at Google. And Google has dropped even more today. Technical indicators for Google are looking, well, these three, very bearish. MACD, RSI, and the CCI are all bearish, but the stochastic is turning around and we're hitting the lower part of the Bollinger Band. So I'm guessing that the 40 will be basically the bottom of this market. We will rally from the 40 exponential and that is roughly at $1,729 a share. And from there to the all time highs, that is roughly 6.6%. So that is quite a good trade to do. So closer that we get to the 20 the 40 exponential or the 50 even better the more i will basically buy of this so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing hit the like button bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at patreon the link is down below good luck and thank you very much